Hello beauties, welcome to my channel. If you'd like to see me create this look that I'm wearing now, then just keep on watching. Also, while I just introduced this tutorial, I'd like to make a big apology to all the people that keep commenting and they're not showing on my channel. I'm having big issues with them going into my spam and not being able to approve them. I can see your comments and I appreciate them so much. It's like so sweet of you to put comments. I'm hoping to fix it soon, I don't know how. If you have any tips or tricks or know how I can do this, please keep commenting because I can see, so comment below. Um, but otherwise, I can see them and keep the love coming because it means so much to me. But anyways, I'll be quiet now and let you watch the tutorial. Hi beauties, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a wing and also I've picked up this L'Oreal Paris Lumiere Eyeshadow, which is a gorgeous shade. It's in the colour um, Le Ombre Pure Colour Richie Lumiere French Riviera, that's it. 505 French Riviera, if that's how you say it. And it's this gorgeous blue, which I don't know if you can see. So I want to use this. I'm not sure how. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on my lower lash line, but it is quite shimmery, so I'm not sure how it's going to look on my lower lash line, but I think I'm going to give it a shot. And it was literally a pound from Poundland. So you can't complain on that pound. Right, so we're going to go in with a cut crease colour. Um, pick up my Blending Signa Brush E25. Um, and I'm going to take um, that one there. Quite a cool shade, that one there. Put it on the brush, top off the excess. And blend that into the crease. I've literally just washed all my brushes. And I used <laughs> hand wash to wash my brushes because it seems to make them really, really clean, but Trying to get the hand wash back out of your brush though is a nightmare. So they smell like hand wash a bit. And yeah, I've rinsed and rinsed and rinsed them and they still smell like hand wash. So what's your girl meant to do, eh? It works really, really good though. So that's that one there in the crease. Next up, I'm going to take a warmer colour, I think. So I'm going to do um, that one there. Oh, and by the way, this is the Morphe 350 Matte Palette. So, but I guess you could guess it was that because I love it so, so much. It's really good, I love it. If you do not have this palette, I really say you should, you should get it or think about investing in it. Whether you're just starting out or whatever, most people actually who've been doing makeup usually have this palette, but if you're just starting out and you love warm browns and warm colours and nudes, highly recommend it. Highly recommend it, definitely. I bought mine from Beauty Bay. No, I didn't buy it from Beauty. No, I didn't get it from Beauty Bay. I got it from Amazon. That was it. That was before I even knew about Beauty Bay. I've got this one, which is the matte, 350M, or 350M matte. And then also I've got 350 Shimmer. And that was from Amazon as well. But all my other ones that I've got, I have a nice selection coming, are from Beauty Bay, which is really, really good to buy from as well. Quick delivery. Bit hard to return things a little bit harder if you haven't got a printer but quick delivery and yeah i just really like it so that's my next shade into the crease so next up change of plan i'm not putting this on my lower lash line because i think it's way too shimmery to put on my lower lash line so i'm just going to put it three quarters of the way on my eyelid and then i might buff it and blend it out with another shade on my outer outer corner so We'll see how it goes. Probably look a total disaster, but never mind. I'm not going anywhere today. The weather's just terrible. It's absolutely terrible here. It's atrocious. Get ready for this to be so pigmented. Get your sunglasses ready. A bit like my highlights, a bit blinding. Oh no, it's quite nice actually. 
Oh, what a nice shade. What's this called again? French Riviera. Mm. Nice. Not bad for a pound. Right, I'm going to go just about there. I think. And then I'm going to buff it out. I'll let you have a look at that one. So that's both eyes done with the blue. Now I'm just going to buff out the edges and then think what to put on the outer corner. So I'm taking that same shade again out my Morphe 350 palette and just carefully buff out the edges so there are no harsh lines. So it blends seemingly. Buff it out, not taking it too high. I guess with this blue shade, if you um, if you dampen the brush, it'll be really, really pigmented. So, but I didn't because I didn't know how pigmented it was going to be as I've not used it before. So. And that's that. Next up, I'm going in with this shade here. I'm sat so awkwardly. <laughs> My setup's terrible. I'm in the kitchen and it's like I'm so close to the camera and I try to get my backdrop down so don't you don't see the cooker. So that's why I just look so awkward again. This shade here, but yeah, that's the one I'm using next. I'm taking a con contour shadow 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 brush. Oh dear me. It's a Sunday morning. Bit sleep. He went out last night, so please excuse me. Right, and I'm hoping this will warm it up a little bit and deepen the outer corner. The cook. Okay, this look could go terribly wrong, but I'm not going anywhere, and I'm just testing it out and see how it goes. Could go wrong because I don't really know if like warm brown and dark blue really go together. Uh, at the moment, it, the moment it's not looking very, um, very exciting and very good. So we may need to go with another shade. So that's that, which looks a bit pants. To be fair, so I'll be back. How's that went? A bit pants, and I just this eye makeup look looks terrible. But hey ho, never mind. I'm going in with a darker shade to see if I can sort this this whole little bit of a mess going out. I'm going in with oh I don't know what to go in with um that one. It's probably still too warm, I think, but we'll try it. We'll try it. This is another long tutorial. Just a nightmare. I need a good, need a good app so I can trim them down really good. Because the app I use is just not very good for trimming, and I'm not very good at editing videos. Really, to be fair. But you can only try your best, can't you? Right, so that's buff that out a little bit more, made it a bit deeper. Still looks a bit like a blooming mess, but never mind. So that's that. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side.
see the horizon turn us to thousands and we'll grow in number fueled by thunder see the horizon turn us to thousands on and on we'll go through the wastelands through the highways till my shadow turns to sun rays and on final look so I've just done my lower lash line done my mascara and my wing eyeliner um, without chit chat without chit chatting through it because it just takes so long so I just quickly whizzed through all that and then also applied some liquid lipstick which I kind of think goes with it a little bit I think it's the um, let me just have a look can't find it now it's the slay all day by um, Lottie London uh, and it's called Work It so and it's really nice actually it's um quite comfy on the lips dries matte and yeah it's quite nice actually I quite, I quite like it second time of using it so and so far so good but yes I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial this is the final look Obviously, I've already done my face before I even did my eyes because that takes even longer. The highlight I'm using today is the Jeffree Star um, Ice Cold Skin Frost. And yeah, this is the final look. And I'll see you again soon. See you later.